All right, John, um, a 1 0 defeat this afternoon to Harlan Walk Welders. You want to give me your thoughts on how the game played out? Well, obviously, the result's very disappointing, Johnny. Um, there's no getting away from that. Uh, felt first half, it was an even game. We had a couple of very good opportunities in it. Uh, there were two sides were well matched up. I felt that we probably shaded it when we shaded it. And in the second half, I don't think we reached our levels again. And the Welders had came into the game a lot more, and they were the better team in the second half. And unfortunately, you know, conceded that a penalty, and it's cost us ultimately in the end. But you know, there's aspects of what we know need to be better. I mean, that's clear. But um, there's, you know, the disappointing thing is, as it has been this last couple of weeks, we're looking at it as two halves, two different teams in terms of performance. We know that the players know that. You know. They're hurting in there. They're a good bunch. They're honest, and they know they, they know they, they expect better from themselves than than, the, than we as a as a team were able to produce in the second half. There was a, a lot of frustration at the end from from the supporters. You know, we're, we're five games in, um, three defeats. What you said to those supporters now that, that are frustrated at what they're saying at the minute? Sorry, John. It's okay. No, stick with us as um, as 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 we know that it's always difficult in the championship. You can see. Like you know from previous, it took four years the last time Portadown tried to come out of the championship. So we know it's a difficult league and it needs to it deserves respect. And you can see that in the investment the welders have made in their team and multiple other teams, including ourselves. You know, there's aspects of this as a big rebuild and it will take a little bit of time to gel. But my advice or not my advice, my, my wish for the supporters is to say stick with us and get behind us. I know it's not easy. They have every right to to voice their displeasure. Whenever things aren't going well, anybody that plays in through the gate of a, of a football match, Johnny, has the right to say or to say what they, what they think within reason. And but I would say is we're a better team when when we're together, and we we'll, we make them a promise that we'll do our best to put this right in the next few weeks, and that's we will do that. There's quite a lot of injuries today. We're seeing that you know our defence was decimated. There's no Chris Rogers. There's no. Paddy McNally, Dougie Wilson is still missing as well. John, what's the prognosis? Are those long-term injuries? Are they likely to be back for, for next Saturday evening's game against Anna United? We've been unlucky in that regard. Look, Niall wouldn't be somebody that, to make excuses, you know, in post-match interviews, as I'm sure you know, Johnny, and he wouldn't be one to talk about injuries. But it is clear, three centre-backs missing today and a back three, you know, and we've, had to, we've been a little bit makeshift and we've had to work with that. But we're not leaning on that. I would say as far as injuries, they've been kind of fairly innocuous impact injuries. We have very little muscular, which is good. But unfortunately, you know yourself, when you're playing pre-season games, anybody can take an, a, a, a rough knock. Dougies, we're still monitoring it. We're trying to gradually bring them back. It still might be a little bit of time yet. Paddy's, we're still at the assessment phase. And Chris, hopefully it'll be a couple of weeks and he'll be back. But as I say, we'll not make excuses for that. What we'll do is we'll go back and we'll do what we always do. We'll work hard and we'll do our best to put things right. No problem, cheers, John. Thank, Thank you. you.